Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Friday. It is the 24th of January. We've got snow and cold temperatures on the way for the weekend. <laughs> Blowing and drifting snow is going to be an issue. Oh, boy. What's so funny? Uh, it's all such great news. Oh, and Tom. you've got cold temperatures coming on the weekend. Isn't it cold enough now? Well, we're getting snow. Oh, man. So it's actually going to warm up kind of slightly. I just checked. Minus 35 up in, in Muskoka. Yeah. Minus 35. Yeah. Minus 29 in Barrie. We're, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but it is so cold. I went to start my barbecue last night because I decided to barbecue. Okay. No. It didn't start? No. Oh. No, well, no, it didn't because the valve was frozen. You couldn't? No, I could turn the gas on. The other, oh. you know, I had the control valve had frozen. So I had to warm it up. Blow dryer? Yes. <laughs> I had to warm it up in order to barbecue. Now, why I was barbecuing? Well, I just decided I was doing it. Because you wanted some good steak. Exactly. I made my husband barbecue I, I did, the other I day. I did steak. Yeah, exactly. It's freezing. It was good, but boy. Well, it's cold. It's a little cold for barbecuing, but in those typical snow belt areas. Now, we'll talk about your temperatures over the weekend. We'll get into the long range, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Now. All right, well, we're warming up tomorrow slightly, but it's only because we've got snow on the way and we're going to be in kind of the warm sector of this next system. Minus 10 for Sunday. It's going to feel closer to minus 18. And then next week, I wish I could tell you better news, but it's going to be frigid. We've got temperatures dropping back down into the minus 20. This weather segment has... Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. It is the 24th of January. It is cold. We've got snow on the way. Blowing and drifting snow is going to be an issue this weekend. And wind chill warnings are in place. You say it with such joy in your voice. Well, I have to, Tom. Do you? I oh, do. Well, all right. Okay, fine. Wind We've got wind snow chill warning snow. I know, I know. It's bad it's news. It's going to be cold. It is. It's cold already. And it's br brutal. That's better. Okay, it's really cold out there. You know how many people just changed the channel? Nobody. They Everybody. More people came. <laughs> I was like, we don't want to hear about that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have sharp winds off the lake, and that is what's going to cause this wind to blow around and cause poor visibility. Temperature. The reason the Kingston kind of Belleville area is in it is because we're seeing southwesterly winds right now coming off of Lake Ontario, so they're kind of just in the <coughs> direction of a squall that is starting to develop that could reach shore in the next couple of hours. Yeah, it's a little better out there today than it was yesterday. Certainly out through Kitchener Waterloo, for those of you who came in yesterday, it was a bit of a mess. Today, it's a much better drive in, so not bad on the 401. Yesterday was cold. A lot of people were prepared for it. However, we've got your long range forecast on the way. We're going to be seeing a bit of a warm up throughout the day tomorrow, and I'll explain why that is. And then we cool right back down into the freezer. Talk about that in just a moment, but first, here's Tom. Minus four tomorrow. See, I told you we'd warm up, but that's just because we're going to be sitting in that warm sector of the system that's bringing us snow. By the time the cold front goes through, we're going to drop to about minus 10, feeling like minus 18 on Sunday. New system develops. Clipper from across the prairies is going to give us a few more centimeters through Sunday and into Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it is cold. It's going to feel back into the minus 20 range. This weather segment. But we'll start right here at home where the cold isn't going anywhere. It's been cold with icy wind chills all week, and now it's going to get snowy. In the next 20 minutes, I'll tell you when it's expected to start and how much we're going to get. To Hawaii, where the lava lake at Lake Kilauea has been bubbling for decades. But this week, it ramped up. The USGS says the volcano has had a burst of activity thanks to a buildup of gas. The activity at Kilauea isn't unusual. The lava lake has been active for about 30 years, and eruptions have been documented there for almost 200 years. What makes this one special is the clear and close-up video scientists were able to shoot. Musicians are always pushing boundaries, and in Sweden, those boundaries are being pushed into an igloo make, and they're delicate. Just breathing too hard on one can make it go out of tune. And temperature? Well, if that goes up, no more instruments. Those ice mu musicians would be right at home on Lake Superior. Lokes, we'll take a look at your weekend forecast. We'll talk about snow and cold temperatures in a moment, but first, here's Tom Reynolds with traffic. Fresh. Another cold morning, perfect for a nice hot breakfast and a hot beverage. We're looking at minus 16 for the city of Toronto, minus 16 through Hamilton, minus 22 up in Barrie. 
Down towards Brantford, we're looking at minus 17. It is cold anywhere throughout Ontario. We are seeing temperatures into the minus 20s to the east. Kingston looking at minus 24 for the morning hours. Closed caps. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday. It's the 24th of January, and it is cold yet again. We are seeing temperatures throughout the GTA into the minus teens, feeling like the minus 20s to minus 30s when you factor in the wind. We're looking at minus 24 in Barrie, minus 20 in Orangeville, minus 19 through Kitchener. It's no wonder that we have a wind chill warning in place. So bundle up, dress in layers, think Arctic conditions. We're talking parkas, sweaters, long johns, the whole bit. Now, this wind chill warning is in place for the day today because it is going to be very cold when you factor in those winds. And we also have a blowing snow warning and a snow squall watch for areas to the east. Around Kingston and in through Belleville with southwesterly winds, we're seeing a line of squalls moving in off of Lake Ontario right now. That's going to be kind of imminent and occurring in the next couple of hours. And then towards uh, cottage country along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, we're going to have strong winds gusting upwards of 80 kilometers an hour starting later on this afternoon. And that's going to cause some blowing and drifting snow. So just poor visibility can certainly be an issue. This is how the system's going Going to play out. We'll start to see the effects of it later on this afternoon through the overnight and tomorrow morning. Clears out relatively quickly, but then we've got a new clipper on the way that's going to reach us through Sunday and Monday, and that is going to give us some more snow. So generally speaking, we're looking at amounts of about 5 to 10 centimeters for the city of Toronto and through Hamilton and Mississauga, but areas to our east and areas to our west could see heavier amounts. Those areas that are just in that typical snow belt region, that's where we're going to see the lake enhancement that we're not necessarily going to get throughout the city. Now, where they have seen quite a bit of snow this winter and temperatures are certainly really cold is up in the Thunder Bay, which is where we joined Kevin Yard this morning. Kevin, what are you thinking of Thunder Bay so far? Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've got lots to talk about, including cold temperatures and snow. We'll start off with the cold temperatures. We're sitting into the minus teens, but we actually feel like the mid to high minus 20s when you factor in the wind. Feels closer to minus 26 and minus 25 through Toronto and in through Hamilton. Minus 28 through Orangeville, it feels like minus 27 in Kitchener. We've got a wind chill warning in place throughout the lower Great Lakes. Temperature values in throughout this morning could be feeling like the mid 20s, mid minus 20s to the mid minus 30s when you factor in the wind. We have two surface lows that are going to be affecting southern Ontario. The first one moving in today and into tomorrow. The second one moving in on Sunday. We do have a blowing snow warning for areas around the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. Winds are going to be sustained at about 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 80 kilometers an hour, blowing and Drifting snow certainly causing visibility issues anywhere through Owen Sound down towards Godrich. We are going to see the first low move its way in later on this afternoon and continue to be fairly intense through the evening and overnight. That is where we're going to see incredibly strong winds. If you do have travel plans, I also want to mention that we do have a snow squall watch for the areas through Coburg all the way out towards the Kingston area. Travel on the 401 in that core is going to be very, very treacherous tonight and into tomorrow morning. So if you do have travel plans, Keep that in mind. First system clears out throughout the day on Saturday. We have a bit of a break overnight. And then in Sunday, a new clipper comes in. General snowfall amounts we're looking at about two to four centimeters. We have got, general speaking, through the GTA, five to ten centimeters, but areas that are going to be enhanced by the winds coming off the lakes, we've got 15 to 20 in the forecast. We join Kevin Yard now. He is in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And and Kevin, what is that on your face? <laughs> Good morning, I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Friday, it is the 24th of January, and it is cold. We have a wind chill warning throughout the lower Great Lakes. This is because with our winds, temperatures are going to feel closer to the minus 20s to the mid minus 30s. Keep that in mind if you do have travel plans this morning. Bundle up if you're going to be standing outside. Make sure you're wearing lots of layers. This blowing snow warning that we have in place along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, because our winds starting this afternoon are going to be sustained at about 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 80 to 100. We've got not one, but two surface lows that are going to be affecting the lower Great Lakes over the next couple of days. The first one moving in later on this afternoon, it's going to be bringing in close to 5 to 10 centimeters general speaking amounts for the GTA. Areas further west and further east are going to be seeing heavier amounts due to lake enhancement and these very strong winds. The blowing snow warning is in place because of those strong winds. The snow is going to be very light and fluffy. It's going to be that kind of snow where you can just kind of 
blow it off your hand. Cold Arctic air sucks all of the moisture out of the snow. So that's why it's going to be light. That's why it's going to be blowing and drifting. Now, it may not affect you right in the downtown core because you're going to be really protected by buildings. So you're not going to necessarily see this blowing and drifting snow. But travel on open areas. Uh, if you're traveling through the country where you've got fields, open stretches of land, uh, on the 401 corridor through Coburg all the way toward, towards Kingston, that could be a really tricky drive tonight and into tomorrow morning. Surface low number two moves in for Sunday. This is going to give general amounts to the GTA of about two to four centimeters. All right, it's time now for our top five videos, Canadian Wacky Winter Wallops. Thanks, Chris. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He has an update on your morning commute. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday. It is the 24th of January and it's cold. Take a look at our current temperature values. It feels closer to minus 24 in Hamilton, feels closer to minus 26 in Toronto, feels closer to minus 27 in Kitchener. So it's no wonder we do have a wind chill warning in place. Cover all exposed skin. It is very, very, very cold. We have a blowing snow warning and a snow squall watched areas to our east. The blowing snow warning is going Going to be more so in effect later on this afternoon where we're going to have very strong winds coming off the lakes enhancing the snow that's falling which is going to be uh, blowing and drifting with winds up towards 80 kilometers an hour we've got two surface lows that are going to be affecting us over the weekend the first one starts this afternoon we are going to start to see the winds that are coming in from a southwesterly direction switch to a northwesterly direction so we have the squall watch in place for Belleville and in through Kingston that 401 corridor later on today, tonight, and into tomorrow morning is going to be a mess. Avoid it if you can because of the blowing and drifting snow, as well as anywhere along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. We've got blowing and drifting snow with those winds gusting up to 80 kilometers an hour when our winds start to shift to more of a northwesterly direction. Now, this snowfall forecast... It's those snow belt areas that are going to get hit the hardest. So we're looking at about 15 to 20 centimeters, Wyerton all the way down through Godrich. Uh, Toronto, we're looking in the downtown core about 5 to 10 centimeters for the Friday-Saturday storm. And then an additional 2 to 4 centimeters when we get that second low coming in Sunday and into Monday. Blowing and drifting snow isn't going to be too much of an issue for you in the downtown core because you're going to be protected by the buildings. But it's areas that are open where you can see uh, more of visibility issues. Kevin Yard joins us this morning in beautiful Thunder sure. Bay and uh, Kevin, you look like you're having uh, too good of a time for 6:30 a.m. We do have some active weather moving in through parts of southern Ontario. We'll start things off by taking a look at the wind chill warning, which is in place throughout the lower Great Lakes. Wind chill values feeling like the mid minus 20s to the mid minus 30s. It's not pleasant to be out and about. This snow squall watch and blowing snow warning are so much in effect for, well, later on this afternoon for the blowing snow. Uh, in the next couple of hours for the snow squall watch, the 401 corridor from Belleville to Kingston could be messy. So just keep that in mind if you're traveling over the weekend. We've got two surface lows that are going to be affecting the lower Great Lakes. The first one moving in today and into tonight. Now, the winds are going to be the really big issue with this system. Some areas, like Toronto, are going to see close to 5 to 10 centimeters. You're not necessarily going to be affected by the blowing snow because you're going to be protected by buildings, especially in the downtown core. Now, if you do travel to areas that are not protected, say if you're traveling in the country or on long stretches of highway, that is where you could see the blowing and drifting snow causing poor visibility on the roads. The blowing snow warnings are mostly in place around the shores of Lake Huron and Georgian Bay because of the lake enhancement. We're going to have strong northwesterly winds coming in off the shores throughout the day tomorrow. They're going to start this afternoon, but tomorrow is really going to be intense where we could see visibility of 500 meters or less so again it's going to be a bit of a nightmare traveling even though we're not going to see incredibly significant snow now 15 to 20 centimeters we could see a band because of that lake enhancement coming off of Huron and coming off of Georgian Bay same deal goes for the Kingston area when we've got those southwesterly winds today so the winds are really going to make a big difference in this in some cases they could be gusting up to 80 kilometers an hour now that we've got all of that out of the way, we are going to throw things out to Kevin Yard, who joins us live in Thunder Bay this morning. And Kevin, uh, so far I haven't seen you do much of the winter activities. I mean, I saw you put on the mask for the uh, ice diving, I believe it was called, but you don't have any skis on. You should be skiing with these folks. Hi there. Good morning. It's Friday. It's the 24th of January. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us. 
Temperatures are cold today. We're sitting into the minus teens, but it feels closer to the minus 20s to the minus 30s throughout southern Ontario. And that is why we have a wind chill warning in place. We also have a blowing snow warning and a snow squall watch throughout the Kingston area. And this is not so much for now, but for later on this afternoon and into tomorrow. And this is why. We have two surface lows that are going to be affecting the lower Great Lakes. The first one coming in later on this afternoon through this evening, overnight and into tomorrow morning. That's going to bring the bulk of the moisture through that time frame. The winds along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay are going to be sustained 40 to 60. They have the potential to gust upwards of 80 to 100, and that is going to cause visibility of about 400 meters or less. So keep that in mind if you do have travel plans. Throughout uh, the Kingston area, that 401 corridor, that open stretch of highway, like through Coburg and Port Hope, that's going to be tricky tonight into tomorrow morning because of the same reasons, blowing and drifting snow with those southwesterly winds coming off the shores of Lake Ontario. When our winds shift to more of a northwesterly direction, that's where we're going to see those same lake-enhanced bands coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay, giving us m higher amounts. The second low moves through Sunday into Monday giving the GTA general amounts of about two to four centimeters. So for us in Toronto, this is not going to be an incredibly intense storm because we're not going to be affected by the lake enhancement that the typical snow belt areas are going to see. So some areas could see 15 to 20 centimeters. Now, an area that has seen a great winter for snow is in through Thunder Bay. Kevin Yard joins us there this morning. And Kevin, what are you up to now? <laughs> I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday. It is the 24th of January and it's cold yet again. We have wind chill warnings in place throughout the lower Great Lakes. Temperatures are feeling closer to the mid minus 20s to the mid minus 30s. We have blowing snow warnings in place and we have a snow squall watch in place. And the reason for both of these is because we've got not one but two surface lows approaching the lower Great Lakes. The first one starts later on today. It's going to track its way through the lower Great Lakes today and into tonight. That's going to be the big story. Snowfall amounts, they're not going to be incredibly significant throughout the city of Toronto. What is going to be significant, however, is the wind. We are going to see sustained winds at about 40 kilometers an hour, gusting up to about 60 to 80 kilometers an hour, and that's going to cause poor visibility with the blowing and drifting snow. Visibility could be 400 meters or less, especially along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, where we do have the blowing snow warning. So that's going to be for later on tonight and into tomorrow. The southwesterly winds along the shores of Ontario, that's where we're going to see the heavier snow through Kingston and in through Belleville. So keep that in mind if you do have travel plans. The second low, it's going to come in for Sunday, give us anywhere between 2 to 4 centimeters of snow. So in total, we can see up to 15 for the city of Toronto. All right, we're going to join Kevin Yard. He's live in Thunder Bay this morning. And Kevin, I know you were having a good time. Force of Nature is brought to you by the deep, full-bodied richness of Folgers Gourmet Supreme. Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is a very chilly start to the day throughout many regions of the Lower Great Lakes. We do have a wind chill warning in place, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But first, Arda Orkel joins us. He is in Niagara this morning. And Arda, normally you're on the national side. You talk about the Ottawa conditions. Uh, it must feel good to be close to the GTA again. Cool. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Arda. We'll check back in with you in just a little while. Here's the wind chill warning that I was mentioning, and that's why he was telling you know, fingers. They're a little bit on the cold side. Uh, we are feeling wind chill values of the mid minus 20s to the mid minus 30s throughout the lower Great Lakes. Current temperatures are minus 16 through Toronto, feeling like minus 26. We feel more like minus 28 through Kitchener and feeling closer to minus 27 up in Barrie. Now, we have seen... Uh, We've got two lows. There we go. I was getting all of my thoughts together. <laughs> We've got two surface lows on the way for the weekend, and I'm going to talk about those right now. Here's the first one. It's going to be sinking its way south through the afternoon and in through the evening. Now, this is going to be affecting the lower Great Lakes, not so much for the system amounts. We are going to see some lake enhancement making our amounts higher, but it's really going to be the winds. That's really going to be the big story through these next systems because our winds are going to be gusting, causing blowing and drifting snow. We have a blowing snow warning along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. By Sunday, we've got a new clipper moving in, and that's going to give us an additional two to four centimeters. So our snowfall forecast looks like this, 15 to 20 centimeters in the typical snow belt areas because we're going to see those northwesterly winds coming off the lake. 
And in through the Kingston area, we are also going to be seeing anywhere from 5 to 15 centimeters. Same reason, but we've got southwesterly winds giving them their snow. For the Toronto area, the downtown core, we're looking at about 5 to 10 centimeters widespread. We're going to be protected by the buildings, so we're not going to deal with that blowing and drifting snow unless you travel out to open areas. Speaking of travel, here's Tom with traffic. Good morning, I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been talking about the active weather on the way through southern Ontario, and we've also been talking about the cold air filtering through. That Arctic air is not giving us a break. Temperatures are into the minus teens, feeling like the minus 20s when you factor in the wind chill. And we do have a wind chill warning in place for southern Ontario. Wind chill values feeling like the mid minus 20s to the mid minus 30s, depending on where you are. Now we do have a blowing snow warning in place and a snow squall watch in place. And I know it's not in areas that are going to affect us directly, but if you do have travel plans this weekend, I'm going to explain what these two uh, watches and warnings have to do with us. Now we've got two surface lows on the way. The first one coming in later on this afternoon and in through the overnight, affecting us continuing throughout the day tomorrow. It's not going to be so much the amounts of snow, it is going to be the winds. The winds are going to be sustained along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay to about 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting up to 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. That is going to cause reduced visibility. We're looking at 400 meters or less. Along the shores of Ontario, we've got southwesterly winds picking up a squall coming off the shore of Ontario to the Kingston Belleville area. Area. That's going to be more so the story today before the wind shift to northwesterly flow. That's what's going to be affecting those traditional snow belts. So you can see the white lines here, they're isobars. The closer they are together, the more intense our winds are. So you can see that the winds are really going to start to pick up later on this afternoon, continuing to be strong through the overnight tonight and into tomorrow. First flow moves out Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, the next low starts to move in. This one is going to bring us an additional two to four centimeters of snow. The winds are not going to be as strong. So in total over the weekend, the city of Toronto could be looking anywhere between, say, nine and 12 centimeters of snow. The typical snow belt areas where we are going to be seeing that lake enhancement, 15 to 20, not out of the question. And then through the Kingston area, again, another five to 10, possibly 15 centimeters is going to be affecting you in that open area if you're driving anywhere from um, Toronto through Port Colborne through Port Hope and into the Kingston area, that's where you're going to see those dangerous blowing and drifting snow conditions. All right, we are going to head to Thunder Bay now where we have Kevin Yard. He is live doing all sorts of fun stuff. Kevin, how much fun did you have on that snowmobile? Hi there, thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday, it's the 24th of January, and it is cold. That Arctic air just does not want to give us a break, does it? Well, temperatures right now, we're sitting into the minus teens, but feeling more like the minus 20s to minus 30s when you factor in the wind. And that is why we have a wind chill warning pretty much stretching all the way throughout southern Ontario. We have a blowing snow warning in place, and we also have a snow squall watch off the shores of Ontario. Through the Kingston and Belleville area, we're seeing a squall developing over the shores of Ontario and with those southwesterly winds we could see some squalls that could be blowing and drifting snow on the 401 corridor through that area so if you've got travel plans watch out. Now the blowing snow warning is going to take effect later on this afternoon and in through tonight where we do have the first of two surface lows approaching southern Ontario. The winds are certainly going to be an issue. We've got sustained winds at about 40 to 60 kilometers an hour and they're going to be gusting upwards of 80 kilometers an hour. So when you throw in the system snow plus lake enhancement off of Huron and Georgian Bay, that's where you're going to see dangerous travel conditions. This low is going to track its way through the day on Saturday, move out by Sunday morning and then we have low number two quickly behind it. This low is going to drop about two to four centimeters throughout much of the GTA. So keep that in mind over the weekend. If you've got travel plans to the north, cottage country, or to the east, driving is going to be messy with all of those uh, very strong wind gusts and blowing and drifting snow. Snowfall amounts, they're not incredibly significant for the city of Toronto, and we're not going to be affected necessarily by that blowing snow because we're protected by a lot of buildings. But if you are heading out into open areas, if you're driving on long stretches of highway, that's why that Kingston kind of Belleville area is a bit of a concern. That's where you can run into a bit of trouble with visibility of 400 meters or less. 15 to 20 centimeters expected in those typical snow belt areas because of the lake enhancement coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay and then again through the Kingston area throughout the day today and into tomorrow morning. All right, we're going to check in with Kevin Yardy. He joins us in beautiful Thunder Bay this morning. And Kevin, I know you were having such a good time. Oh, wait a second. Are you snowshoeing right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Emily Vukovic. We've been talking about the cold temperatures and the snow that's on the way through southern Ontario. 
If you're wondering what this beautiful shot is behind me, that's Niagara Falls. We've got Arda Orkel joining us this morning on the Toronto show. He normally does the national side of things in Ottawa, and today we've brought him closer to home. And he's been enjoying, I think, uh, the falls and what they have to offer, especially at this time of year when it has been so incredibly cold they're actually frozen. I mean, there's, yes, of course, there's water coming through on some of them, but they're frozen. We're going to check in with Arda in just a few moments, but first, let's talk about what's happening here and now. We have a wind chill warning in place. It is cold. It is bitterly cold. We have temperatures that are into the minus 20s, or rather minus teens, feeling more like the minus 20s to the mid minus 30s. We have a blowing snow warning in place. We also have a snow squall watch in place. Now, neither of them are going to be affecting the city of Toronto, but if you do have travel plans, take note this. We do have two systems moving in through the lower Great Lakes over the weekend. The first one will arrive later on this afternoon and continue through the overnight tonight. That is where we're going to see the more intense bands of snow coming through. It's going to be overnight and into tomorrow morning. Now, if you are going to be traveling along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, expect to see sustained winds anywhere from 40 to 60 kilometers an hour starting this afternoon, gusting anywhere from 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. That is what's going to cause the blowing and drifting snow. If you're traveling the 401 corridor through Belleville and up towards Kingston, blowing and drifting snow is going to be an issue for you as well as that squall that we're watching develop right now over the lake moves its way closer to land. If you are going to be traveling, temperatures are going to be cold as well. So make sure you have an emergency prepared kit, preparedness kit in your vehicle. Now, this is the first low. It's going to move out throughout the day on Saturday. Overnight to Sunday, we'll get a bit of a break. Second low moves in Sunday, overnight, and into Monday. This low is going to be giving us about two to four centimeters of snow. It's, uh, it's going to be one of those days where we're going to see about five to ten centimeters in the city of Toronto. We're going to be protected by the buildings from the blowing snow, but areas that are typically hit hard in the snow belts, they could see 15 to 20 centimeters. All right, travel is going to be a bit of an issue over the weekend. Speaking of travel, here's Tom with traffic. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday, it's the 24th of January, and it's cold. Temperatures into the mid-teens, but feeling more like the minus 20s to minus 30s when you factor in the winds. Reason why we have a wind chill warning in place throughout the lower Great Lakes. It's going to be cold today. Make sure you bundle. Cover all exposed skin. Frostbite can happen in about 10 to 30 minutes, depending on where you are. Now, we have a blowing snow warning as well as a snow squall watch in place. And neither of these watches or warnings uh, affect the city of Toronto or even really much through the GTA. But if you do have travel pl plans, you're going to want to take note of this. We've got two system approaching the lower Great Lakes. The first one coming in later on this afternoon through tonight and into tomorrow morning. It's not going to be so much the amounts of snow that are a big concern, it's going to be the winds. We've got sustained winds at around 40 to 60 kilometers an hour along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. We are going to see winds gusting upwards of 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. Northwesterly winds are going to be an issue starting this afternoon, continuing throughout the day tomorrow. We've got that snow squall watch in place through uh, Kingston and Belleville because of southwesterly winds that we're going to experience today. And we're seeing a band coming off the lake that is approaching the shore. Could give very poor visibilities on that 401 corridor. Now, tomorrow, the visibility is going to be an issue uh, along Georgian Bay and Huron just because um, of that fresh grainy snow coming down. It's not going to be that heavy, wet kind of packing snow that we sometimes see. Because we've got these cold temperatures, all the Arctic air is actually sucking the moisture out of the snow. So it's going to be that very light grainy stuff that is very easily moved around. So that's going to be a huge issue. Now that system is going to taper off throughout the day on Saturday. And then we've got a new system coming in Sunday and through Monday. It's going to give us an additional couple of centimeters. So snowfall totals, we're looking at about 5 to 10 for the city of Toronto. And if you're wondering why we're kind of sandwiched in these heavier bands is because we're not going to see that lake enhancement. 15 to 20 centimeters Wyerton through Godrich and through Sarnia. Uh, Kingston, Belleville could also see closer to 15, 20 centimeters because of the lake enhancement. So for us, it's going to be a stormy weekend, but not as bad as it could be. But if you do have travel plans, uh, make sure you stay tuned to the Weather Network for more updates. Kevin Yard is joining us in beautiful Thunder Bay this morning. And Kevin, so far I've seen you snowshoeing and snowmobiling. You're having a great time, aren't you? 
We do have some active weather moving in through southern Ontario today and into tomorrow. And then we've got another system moving in for Sunday. We've got two surface lows. The first one is going to start to affect the GTA later on this afternoon through the evening. And then the heavier snow is going to be pushing in through the overnight and into tomorrow morning. The winds are certainly going to be an issue. We have a blowing snow warning along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. Sustained winds at about 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 80 to 100. So fresh snow on the ground, it's going to be that light grainy snow because the Arctic air, it is just sucking the moisture out of the snow. So it's that light fluffy, you can't make a snowman with it kind of snow. This system is going to continue to track its way across the lower Great Lakes throughout the day on Saturday, move out by Saturday night. Sunday morning, we'll see a bit of a break, and then the next system starts to track in through Sunday night and into Monday morning, is potentially affecting your Monday morning commute. Snowfall amounts for the City of Toronto, not incredibly significant. Yes, 5 to 10 centimeters is still 5 to 10 centimeters, but we don't necessarily have to worry about the blowing and drifting like you would if you are traveling north, like anywhere north of Newmarket. That's where we're going to see that kind of blowing and drifting issue. Visibility could be 400 meters or less, especially along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. That's also where we're going to see that lake enhancement with those strong northwesterly winds. So 15 to 20 centimeters wire through Godrich and through Sarnia. That could be an issue if you've got travel plans in that area. Also, the 401 corridor tonight and into tomorrow morning, we've got southwesterly winds. That is going to present an issue if you do have travel plans with blowing and drifting snow. And that's why we do have a snow squall watch through Kingston and then through Belleville for the day today. So travel plans. Things can get a little out of hand throughout the day tonight and into tomorrow. We've got Kevin Yard. He is joining us in beautiful Thunder Bay. He has been having such a good time this morning. Tons of activity. And Kevin, are you on skates right now? It's Friday. It's the 24th of January. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's cold this morning, temperatures into the minus teens, but feeling more like the minus 20s when you factor in the wind. And with that, we do have a wind chill warning in place. Depending on where you are, your wind chill values can feel closer to the mid minus 30s. Now, we do have a blowing snow warning as well as a snow squall watch in place for areas throughout Ontario. And it's because of not one, but two surface lows that are going to be affecting the region. Now, the snow squall watch is for this morning and in through this afternoon. We have southwesterly winds creating a squall over the shore of Lake Ontario. Could be making landfall, making travel along that 401 corridor through Belleville all the way towards Kingston a bit tricky. If you've got plans for there this morning, just be cautious of that. Low moves in later on this afternoon. The winds are certainly going to be a big issue with this. That is why we have the blowing snow warning along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. When the winds shift to more of a northwesterly direction, we are going to see that light, fluffy snow that we're going to get because all that Arctic air, it's sucking the moisture out of it, so it's not that packing snow. Those winds are going to be blowing that snow around, causing snow drifts, whiteout conditions, visibility about 400 meters or less along those shorelines. So if you do have travel plans further west or north throughout the day to day, more so tonight and into tomorrow, that's where it could be uh, an issue. Now, after this low tracks its way throughout the day on Saturday and into Sunday, we get a bit of a break. And then by Saturday, Sunday, rather late day, next system moves in, gives us an additional two to four centimeters. Typical snow belt regions, 15 to 20 centimeters. We're not necessarily going to see that in downtown Toronto because we don't have that lake enhancement to deal with. So we're looking at general amounts of about five to 10. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He has an update on what to expect from this morning's commute. Well, we are going to be seeing a warm up and then a cool down. We get up to minus four tomorrow, feeling like minus 12, and then we cool back down for Sunday, Monday. By next week, our wind chill values are going to be back, feeling like the mid minus 20s. Hi there, thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Friday, it's the 24th of January. I'm Emily Vukovic. We've got some active weather on the way. We have been dealing with intense winds and snow approaching from the west. Now, it's not going to reach the lower Great Lakes until later on this afternoon and in through this evening. It's going to be very gusty where winds are certainly going to be an issue causing poor visibility and blowing and drifting snow. We do have a blowing snow warning along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. Winds coming in from a northwesterly direction are also going to create heavier snowfall amounts. So the first low is going to move in later on this afternoon and in through this evening. Winds will be sustained 20 to 40 kilometers an hour and then 40 to 60 
60 kilometers an hour as the day goes on, gusting anywhere from 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. Now this low is going to continue to sink its way south, bringing about 5 to 10 centimeters through much of the GTA, through places like Kitchener and Waterloo, could see upwards amounts of 12 to 15 centimeters just because of some lake enhancement. And through the Kingston Belleville corridor, again, snow squall watches are in place because of the strong winds coming off uh, the lake. Southwesterly winds throughout the day today could make travel through that corridor very tricky. Next low moves in Sunday and into Monday, and this is going to not bring our winds. They're not going to. The winds aren't going to be as strong with this system, but we could see an additional two to four centimeters with that next low. So snowfall amounts. I know they probably don't seem incredibly significant for the city of Toronto, but we're just on the cusp of that kind of 10 to 15 centimeter range, especially to the east, to the west. Like I said, through the Kitchener Waterloo area, that's where we could see about 15. The downtown core, we just don't have the lake enhancement that other areas through the typical snow belt regions are going to see. We're still going to feel gusty conditions, blowing and drifting snow is still going to be an issue for us, just not as intense unless you're traveling north. All right, speaking of traveling north, Kevin Yard has been doing just that. Today he's up in Thunder Bay having a great time. Good morning, I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday, it is the 24th of January, and it's cold. Temperatures are into the minus teens, feel more like the mid minus 20s when you factor in the wind. We do have a wind chill warning in place throughout southern Ontario. Areas further north, they could feel closer to the minus 30s when you factor in the wind. Now we do have a blowing snow warning in place for areas around the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. We do have a snow squall watch for Belleville off towards Kingston. Now we've got two surface lows approaching the lower Great Lakes. That watch that you saw through Belleville and Kingston, that's for today and through this morning. We have strong southwesterly winds across Lake Ontario. A squall has developed. If it reaches shore, it could make traveling on that 401 corridor pretty messy today. So keep that in mind if you're traveling east. This, the first low that we're going to see is coming in later on this afternoon and in through tonight. Now this is going to be intense for the lower Great Lakes, mostly through the late evening, overnight and tomorrow morning. So it shouldn't have too much of an effect on your drive home. The winds are certainly going to be an issue with this. That's why we have that blowing snow warning along here on in Georgian Bay. Winds are going to be sustained 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting anywhere between 80 and 100 kilometers an hour. So visibility of 400 meters or less could certainly uh, play a factor if you do have travel plans to those regions. The first low, it moves out throughout the day tomorrow. We are going to see a bit of a break Sunday morning. And then the next system comes in Sunday overnight and into Monday. This could be a Monday morning commute issue. Enough to make the road slick, but it's just a couple of centimeters. The first system could bring about 15 to 20 centimeters with that lake enhancement, Wyerton through Goderich and through Kitchener, Waterloo and through Cambridge and Guelph. You're just kind of on the cusp of that, so you could see up to 15 centimeters. Through the city of Toronto, we're seeing 5 to 10. Blowing snow is certainly not going to be too much of an issue if you're protected in the core because of those big buildings. You're not going to feel that kind of same wind, but we still have sustained winds at about 45 kilometers an hour. Areas further east, they're going to see more so of that lake enhancement as well, so that's why we're going to see heavier amounts of snow in those regions. Now, this is our weekend system. Kevin, meanwhile, has been having a great time in Thunder Bay this morning. He's been out on the skating rink, and Kevin, you're not alone. I love the people that are pulling. Babies, I think that is adorable. We know this volcano in Hawaii is active. Here's proof of just how active it can be. So we'll start right here at home where the cold isn't going anywhere. It's been cold with icy wind chills all week. To Hawaii where the lava lake at Lake Kilauea has been bubbling for decades. But this week it ramped up. The USGS says the volcano has had a burst of activity thanks to a buildup of gas. The activity at Kilauea isn't unusual. The lava lake has been active for about 30 years, and eruptions have been documented there for almost 200 years. What makes this one special is the clear and close-up video scientists were able to shoot. Musicians are always pushing boundaries, and in Sweden, those boundaries are being pushed into an igloo. Near Kent, they're delicate. Just breathing too hard on one can make it go out of tune. And temperature, well, if that goes up, no more instruments. Those ice mu musicians would be right at home on Lake Superior. 
We'll take a look at your weekend forecast. We'll talk about snow and cold temperatures in a moment, but first, here's Tom Reynolds with traffic. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday, it is the 24th of January. We've been talking about cold temperatures and the approaching winter storm, but this morning and into the afternoon, it should be okay to get out and visit beautiful Niagara Falls. And that is where we join Arda this morning. Arda, you are having a great time in that beautiful scenery behind you, aren't you? <laughs> No, I bet not. <laughs> Thanks so much, Arda. Yeah, it is very, very cold. You certainly want to prepare for the extreme wind, especially later on this afternoon. Now, we've got two lows that are going to be moving in through southern Ontario today. The first one is going to be bringing us snow and intense wind, especially along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. We do have a blowing snow warning in place. Winds will be sustained anywhere from 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting 80 to 100. This is going to continue continue to track its way south and then it's going to move out. The next low comes in for Sunday into Monday, and this is also going to be giving us some snow, but the winds will have eased. Looking at our snowfall totals, they're not incredibly significant for the city of Toronto. Reason being, we're just not in the lake enhancement stretch, right, where we're going to see those heavier squalls coming off the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay, 15 to 20 centimeters through Wyerton, down towards Godrich, Sarnia is included in that. Kitchener, Waterloo, you're going to be kind of in that 15 centimeter bullet. Uh, again, blowing and drifting snow with strong winds, so keep that in mind if you do have travel plans into the weekend. If you're heading east as well, Kingston could see heavy lake effect coming off the shores of Ontario with those southwesterly winds and temperatures remaining cold all weekend. This weather segment. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Friday, it's the 24th of January. It's cold again today. We've got temperatures into the minus teens, feeling more like the minus 20s when you factor in the wind. And we've got some snow on the way. I'm going to get to all those details coming up in just a few moments. But first, we're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He's paired up with Ontario Travel. And this Friday, he joins us from beautiful Thunder Bay, Ontario. Kevin, what are you up to? That's awesome, Kevin. I'm so jealous of your Friday vacations. <laughs> I know you're still working, but still so much fun. All right, we've got a lot of active weather coming in this weekend. The first low approaching later on this afternoon and in through tonight. That's when it's going to be at its most intense. It will continue through tomorrow morning. The winds are going to be an issue. We are going to see sustained winds at about 40 to 60 kilometers an hour along the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. Those winds are going to be gusting up to 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. That is why we do have a blowing snow warning in those regions. Now, for the city of Toronto, we're looking at sustained winds of about 45 kilometers an hour, so it's certainly going to feel much colder when you factor in the winds. We're not going to deal with too much blowing snow. I mean, yes, it is going to be blowing and drifting, and it's just going to be kind of miserable to be outside. But unless you're in kind of open areas, you're not going to deal with that poor visibility on the roadways. I mean, further north and further west, they're going to be dealing with visibilities of about 400 meters or less. Now, the second low is, uh, is coming in. Sunday and into Monday. The winds aren't going to be as intense, but we are still going to see a couple of centimeters with this. This could be affecting our Monday morning commute, so stay with us over the weekend for all those details. Snowfall amounts right now look like they could be intense in those typical snow belt areas where we're going to see that lake enhancement. So 15 to 20 centimeters, Wyerton down towards Godrich. Kitchener, Waterloo, you're kind of in that 15 centimeter bullet. It depends on the winds and how far they shift. You could see 10 centimeters, you could see up to 20. For the city of Toronto, five to 10 centimeters, heavier mounts further east through Scarborough and all the way up towards Kingston could see more snow. If you're traveling on the 401, could be tricky.